Has this ever happened to you? Oh no! You're drawing and your crayon breaks. Well, don't worry, there's no need to throw them out. So here's what we do. We've got broken crayons. We don't have to throw them out. We can reuse them. We can remake them. That's right. Today, I'm going to show you how we can take our old broken crayons, our tiny little, our tiny little nubs of crayons, and we can melt them down to make new crayons. And the crayons I'm going to make today are going to be multicolored. That means they're not just going to be one regular color. They're going to have almost like a rainbowy kind of color. And they're going to be so much fun to make. So, all we need is some broken crayons. Make sure we remove the paper, okay? Because these are going to go into the oven to melt. We don't want any paper on them, okay? And it, it will take a little bit of time. You can ask for an adult for help. They're really good at helping. And then, What we need is maybe a baking tin or a muffin tin if we have. And what I've done is I've gone to the dollar store and I got some baking cups, some muffin cups. And what I'm doing is I'm using two cups, okay? Two cups for every muffin part because the wax from the crayons if you're using a new pan like this, the wax from the crayons might leak out through the paper. And so we don't want to have our muffins the next time we bake muffins tasting like crayon, right? Or if you like Matthew and you've got this old baking pan, it's an old bread pan that I have. It's kind of getting a little rusty. So that's another way I can just put in some muffin cups in there. And then, you know, if it gets a little waxy from the crayons, it's not so bad. And next all we do Are you ready? If you want those pieces a little bit smaller, those colors, this is all we do. We snap them. You use your muscles. Oh. And you pick whatever colors you want and you place them in. Now we're only going to place the cups maybe to about, oh, a quarter of the way up, okay? So we don't want our crayons to be really fat, 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 thick, thick, thick. We want them to still be skinny, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a bunch of different colors that I like and just enough that maybe to cover so that we don't see the bottom of the muffin cup. So we can see right in there. So we can almost not see the bottom. Look at it. So we can't see the bottom of the muffin cup anymore. So that's what we do. So I'm going to take the rest of my broken crayons. I'm going to fill them all up. And then we'll be ready to put them in the oven. All right. So while we're still breaking up our crayons and getting all of our muffin cups ready, we're going to get our oven preheated to 300 degrees. So 300, we are ready. It's going to preheat. Let's get back to filling up those muffins with broken crayon pieces. We've filled up our muffin trays, our muffin cups there. Got all sorts of nice colors. This one here I tried to make all kind of reds and, and pinks and purples. This one I tried to make yellows and greens. And some of them are just a little bit rainbow. Anyways, they're going to go in the oven. The oven is ready now at 300 degrees. And we're going to let them bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. We want to make sure that all the crayon is nice and melted. So we'll set our timer here. And we'll go for 20. Perfect. And now we wait.
Perfect. Our crayons are all melted down. They are ready to come out of the oven. And as you can see, they are nice and wiggly and hot, hot, hot. Oh, there we are. So these have got to cool down. So do not touch them. Just let them cool down. And when they get nice and hard and cool to the touch, there's no more any heat left in them, then we are ready to pop them out of the muffin trays and we are ready to color. So let's just let them sit and wait and we'll go back to having some fun while we wait. Well look at my crayons have all cooled down. I've removed them all from their paper. And if you come and check it out, look at all the neat, cool colors that we've got. Look at how they really turned out. The bottom, the bottom seems to be where they, the colors really shine. But look at, now when I grab one, look at all the different colors that up here, I've got yellows, greens, all in one. I've made very neat rainbow crayons. And it didn't take long at all. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you can turn your old crayons into new fun crayons. And if you've got different shaped pans, if you've got those silicone kind of cookie pans. Sometimes they come in like heart shapes or in star shapes. They'll have all sorts of other neat ones too, but even just the muffins, they turned out pretty well. See, and not too thick, easy to grab too, and full of colors. Thank you so much.